Hey everybody, welcome back to Motion UX. Today we're gonna to create an animated navigation bar. We're gonna go all the way from animation to implementation using After Effects and Lottie. Let's dive in. So here is the navigation bar we're gonna be animating today. And I've already went ahead and recreated this in HTML and CSS so that we have everything ready to go for where we wanna drop in our Lottie files when we create this. And the interaction that we're gonna be creating here is that when the mouse enters the icon, it will animate to a certain state. And then when you leave, it will reverse back to its initial state. And so we'll ultimately get something like this where we hover in and out of this refresh icon and it animates. I'll show you how I did this one and we'll animate the other two icons as well. And then we'll dive in a little bit on how we actually set this up with JavaScript using the Lottie framework. Let's go ahead and take our designs and bring them into After Effects. And here we are in After Effects. We have all of our icons here. I've already went ahead and cleaned up some of the pre-comps in the reference layers and deleted anything that we didn't need. What we have now is three titles and we have three icons which are all in their own pre-comp, which makes it a little bit easier when we get to exporting them as Lottie animations. Let's go ahead and dive into animating the refresh icon. And what we're gonna do is a very simple rotation where when you hover over it, it will rotate. And when you exit, it will just rotate back to where it started from. So we're gonna go ahead and tap R to bring up our rotation keyframes, go forward 30 frames, drop another keyframe and let's go ahead and add some easing to that. And if we preview it, nothing happens because we haven't changed the value. So let's change this to 180. So it will look the same because it's a perfect 180 degree rotation. And this is what our animation looks like. And we can actually go ahead and trim this composition, tapping N to change our work area, right clicking it and trim comp to work area. And so now this will loop endlessly with that little rotation animation. So if we jump back to our main composition, we can see it animating with everything else. So let's go ahead and do our bookmark now. So we'll dive into our bookmark. And for this one, how we want to animate it is when we hover over it, we want it to scale a little bit and then partially fill. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. Go ahead and pull up our scale, go forward and time 30 frames, and we're gonna scale this up ever so slightly. Let's add some easing, and let's go ahead and trim this composition. So now we have our simple scale animation here. And then let's actually dive into the vector path for our partial fill. So we can animate this path right here. Let's throw it on the keyframe, tap U to hide everything else. Go forward in time and we'll drop a keyframe here. So let's go ahead and select these and we're just gonna move everything in just a little bit. And what this is going to do is just make it feel like the stroke is getting a little bit thicker. And let's make sure we apply the correct easing and let's see it in context with everything else. And that looks pretty good. And then let's go to the hand. And the hand, what we wanna do is we wanna have it just do like a little subtle wave, maybe back and forth. So let's go ahead and open our rotation and go forward 30 frames. And we'll go ahead and we'll trim this composition so that we have just this. And what we wanna do here is make sure it's rotating from the point that you would typically see a hand waving. Go ahead and turn off our snapping. We can move this anchor point to somewhere right around here. And so if we rotate, it looks more like what a hand would look like when it's waving. So we're gonna make it go up, down, and then rest. But we'll do a quick up. We'll go down and then back to where it's supposed to be. And we can go ahead and apply some easing. And we could also go in here and adjust this a little bit. Awesome. Now we have all of our icons animated and it adds a lot more interest into this navigation bar so now each one of them have a really nice unique animation since they're all following the same easing more or less and also the same timing they still feel like they fit in the same family so now let's go ahead and set this up for an easy lottie export so let's go ahead and we can find all of our compositions here and just for organization's sake let's organize these so that they're easy to find as our Lottie exports right here. Open up body moving. And from here, we will find all three of these icons. We will make sure that they're all being exported to the correct spot. All right, let's make sure the settings are okay. Um, we don't need a demo for any of them. We just need it to be standard. So let's go ahead and make sure they are all the same. Okay, and if we go ahead and hit render, we have our wave, refresh, and we have our bookmark. 
So now if we jump back over to our HTML preview, you can see that we've already linked up the refresh and let's walk through how we can do the wave and the bookmark here. So let me give a disclaimer. I have just enough front end development experience to make this stuff work and to hack together things for myself to just troubleshoot and make sure interactions are working correctly and enough to communicate to developers what needs to happen and maybe what are potential uh, pitfalls or areas to refine when we're talking about Lottie animations and interaction on the web and on native devices. So the way that I'm showing you how to do this here is probably not the best way to do it, but it's the way that I know how to do it. So let's dive in. All right, so this is how we have our HTML set up. Up here, collapse, we have the Lottie framework, and then we have our navigation bar up here. And then this is where our animation data for our refresh JSON file is. We just copy and paste it in here just to make it a self-contained HTML file. We can see that this matches exactly what you see inside of the JSON file. So it's literally just copy and paste it into this and input it as a variable named refresh. These are all the parameters of how we will actually play that specific Lottie file. So this is basically saying it will look at the ID that's called refresh, which is the icon for that last menu item. And it will render it as an SVG. It won't loop it. It won't autoplay. And it's pointing to what is the animation data. It is actually this variable right here. Here, which is referencing the JSON animation that we exported from After Effects. And then right here, it's basically just saying, let's load this animation based off of this parameter. After that, we have the actual interaction of when the mouse enters the refresh div, it will set the play direction forward and it will actually play it. And then when the mouse leaves it, it will set the direction to reverse and it will play it. And so that's how we get the playing and reverse. And you can see at any point during the animation, if I exit or enter, it will actually go from that point and just start reversing it. So it feels like a very seamless, nice, smooth animation. So let's go ahead and set it up for the other two. First, we will pull in that animation data. So we'll do variable wave equals and then variable bookmark equals and we'll go ahead and pull these in. So we'll go to the wave and we'll copy that, put it in here. And then we'll go to the bookmark, copy that and put it in here. So now we have the refresh, the wave, and the bookmark animations ready to go. Now that we have our variables in there, we will go ahead and make sure that we take the SVGs out from here and away from here. And we'll go ahead and create divs with the ID equals wave. And then we'll do the same thing for the bookmark. So now we have wave icon, the bookmark icon, the refresh icon. And then we have the actual data referenced over here. And so all we have to do is essentially duplicate all the data that we have here. And then let's go ahead and we'll duplicate this. We'll name everything that says refresh to be wave. And then we'll duplicate it again and everything that says wave will now be bookmark and let's save it and go back to our html refresh it and check it out now we have these sweet animations that happen when we hover over our navigation bar and that's it everybody we just learned how to create animated icons and make them interactive using lottie and our own hacky html preview oh.